Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about some extra ways to make money at Christmas. Let's get started. I know right now that depending where you live, people may not be doing as many holiday activities as they normally would in years past. But some people still may be doing some things, but they may be doing them on a smaller scale. That being said, there may still be opportunities for some of us to make some extra money and I'm going to tell you the 11 ways that I came up with I know there's many more and I'll tell you which of these I have done in the past the first is number one babysitting for example you may have somebody that may want to go out shopping with their husband or wife and they may have you babysit while they go do a little bit of Christmas or Hanukkah shopping. So you could maybe babysit. So you may know someone that needs a babysitter. I have not done that recently, but I used to do a lot of babysitting and I actually really miss it. And I enjoy being around kids. So that could be a really great way to make some extra money. Number two, pet sit. I know of some people sometimes that will travel and I know people are not traveling as much but maybe somebody has family somewhere nearby and they may need a cat or dog looked in on to make sure that they have food and water and you may take them for a walk something of that nature so pet sitting may be another really good way I have done that but I did that as a volunteer number three and I definitely you would never want to hire me for either one of these um, wrapping gifts for people or writing out their cards or going to mail their cards. I would not be a good one on either of those, but I do know of some people that have beautiful handwriting and are really good at wrapping gifts and just do a gorgeous job. And people have paid them to do that. That person provides all the materials for them and they go ahead and wrap the gifts up really beautifully because many times people say, hey, I want to do some of these things, but with working full time, I'm not able to get to all the things I want. Number four, running errands. I know there's a lot of services that do that, but some people may want to pay you to do errands for them and you can do them along with what you're already doing. So you may have a neighbor that says, can you pick these things up at the store for me? And you may go ahead and do her grocery shopping along at the same time you're doing yours. And what I love about all of these is you may charge a little less than what a standard rate is so that these folks are saving money but yet you're making a little money along the way also number five cooking and baking for people maybe somebody is going to go to a family function with just a small group of people and they don't really enjoy cooking or baking and they're asked to bring the green bean casserole maybe you could make it for them and they provide the ingredients and they pay you a little something to do that also number six and I think this is a good idea a lot of people are doing this that many people have little what I call Etsy shops and different ways they could do it off their own website they create all different kinds of printables such as a printable for holiday you know buying like or like holiday saving or just a printable on a menu it could be any kind of printable you want debt saving printable printables money saving printables you could create those yourself and then when people download and buy them you make money you might charge a dollar a piece or 50 cents a piece and that would be a really good recurring way to make money number seven cleaning for people let's say that someone is like wow it's with the holidays I've been extra busy at work and I don't have time to clean I'm only having a couple people over to my home but I need some time to clean to get ready for the holidays or I need help decorating so I could put decorating with that too you can maybe help them decorate their home. I have some friends that are really gifted at that. So think about all the fabulous skills you have. Number eight, hanging lights up for people. My yard guys offer to hang lights up for us. My husband, however, enjoys doing it. But there's some people that will help you with your decorations and your lights and you can pay them. Number nine, any type of what I call independent contractor or one-time jobs as you would call them such as mystery shopping it could be doing a survey like going to a focus group um, possibly a taste test any of those kinds of things hanging flyers on people's door little what I call one-time jobs and you can find them all over the place you can google for them just make sure to do your research to make sure it's a valid position but any kind of little quick thing you can do number 10 
working a retail job, something, you know, short like one of the stores near you may need somebody for three weeks just during the November and Christmas time. And then last but not least, yard work, shoveling snow. Those, these are just some of the areas. The big one that I've done before is what I call the one-time jobs or working retail. I've done all that and I've done babysitting. Those are the ones that I've done that I've made money on. If you guys sometimes look for extra ways to make money at the holidays, what do you do to make extra money? I want to hear about it in the comments below. That's all for now. This is Money Mom signing off and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.